Burma coup resistance notes November 27, 2022. The Indian government is turning out to be a major enemy of the Burma people, along with Russia and China. India sent a convoy of weapons for the junta, which entered through Tamu and headed toward Kali in Zagaring region on November 25. Various Zagaring PDFs then attacked the convoy with mines, mortars, and drone bombs for two days, causing casualties and halting the convoy temporarily. The junta troops seized 10 civilians to use as human shields. Thailand is little better. The Thai military is conducting joint military exercises with the genocidal junta at the Mortown border crossing in Bait Tavoy district of Korthule, Tananthari region on Burmese maps adjacent to Prakwap Kiri Khan province of Thailand. The exercises are causing fear among locals that the junta will perpetrate its atrocities on the communities there. They suggest that Thailand consider its long-term relationship with Burma beyond this coup d'etat period. The Thai military has previously aided and abetted the junta by allowing troops and supplies to pass through its territory to outposts that had been cut off by the Karen army, and it has raised faint objections when junta attack aircraft have breached Thai airspace. The illegal military regime has abandoned three rural police barracks in Magwe region in the past month, lacking enough troops to defend them. It is focusing its reduced strength on defending the township centers, where it is also under attack. Ethnic regions. PDFs mounted a surprise attack on a junta camp at Thanmotang in Tarvu district of Korthule, Thandangi Township on Burmese maps yesterday morning, firing for two hours and killing at least 15 junta troops and wounding others, although another report says all 15 of the troops in the small camp are dead. Two jets then arrived and fired, killing a civilian and injuring two in the nearby village, and preventing the PDFs from occupying the camp. Troops threatened to burn down the village, and reinforcements were sent from Tangu, but the PDFs were gone by then. In Beit Tavoy district of Korthule, Tananthari region on Burmese maps PDFs opened fire on a junta patrol in Pawakone village of Palor township yesterday, killing five troops and wounding five, but two PDF soldiers were seriously wounded. Karen Army Brigade 1 reports continuous guerrilla attacks on junta troops in Du Ta 2 district of Korthule, northern Mon state on Burmese maps. Targets during the past few days include junta troops guarding a bridge and others at a fuel station in Bilan Township and a police barracks in Theanziat. Junta troops are killed and injured in ones and twos in these attacks, but the purpose is to keep them on the defensive and prevent redeployments toward other battlefronts. Korthule Government KNU via a large number of junta troops has arrived in Thay Borbo on the Thailand border in Duplay, a district of Korthule, Mayawadi Township on Burmese maps, part of the regime's ongoing effort to retake its lost camp there. The Karen Cobra Battalion and its PDF allies have made a strategic retreat and will continue resisting the invasion. The Arakan Army has announced a 24-hour ceasefire with the junta for humanitarian purposes such as supplying food and medicine and harvesting the ripe rice crop. It also spoke of negotiations for a longer ceasefire. Even during this supposed ceasefire, the junta continues to kidnap civilians and administrators it suspects of sympathies toward the AA. It would make no sense that the junta agreed a ceasefire for humanitarian reasons, since its entire strategy is based on committing humanitarian atrocities against civilians, and it has specifically targeted farmers trying to harvest crops. The Arakan army cutting a deal with the junta would be a blow to the war effort in general, as it would allow the junta to redirect its firepower from Arakan state toward the other battle fronts. Aircraft spotters for the revolution notified that jets are taking off from the junta's Tardaru air base near Mandalay and flying north, evidently to attack targets in Kachin state. Junta scorched earth village terrorism campaign. Today junta troops in Tant's town spontaneously went out and burned down Tanpinsate village, accusing villagers of feeding PDF soldiers. The villagers now join the 1.2 million internal refugees from regime violence. Troops burned down Mayatdor village in Kunla township of Zagaring region yesterday, and shot an old man to death. Troops then fired mortars from the village outward at the fleeing refugees. People's Defense Forces PDFs. The roads of Zagaring region continue to be deadly for junta convoys. When a 30-vehicle convoy left Monawa on the Shomu road two days ago November 25, PDFs detonated Claymore anti-personnel mines on the last truck, which carried troops, killing 23 and wounding 7. PDF stormed a police barracks at Kylie in Pork Township, Magway region yesterday. At least 10 troops were killed, and surviving troops fled the station and it was occupied by the PDFs. Two PDF soldiers died in the battle.
The junta responded with their attacks, but the PDFs got away. Reinforcement troops then came, burned and permanently abandoned the police barracks, and attacked the nearby civilian village. PDFs in Wetland Township ambushed a column of 80 junta troops trying to return to the main town yesterday after destroying villages. Using landmines, gunfire, and locally manufactured mortars, the PDFs caused an unknown number of casualties and forced the column to retreat to a nearby village without reaching its destination. A PDF dropped drone bombs on 15 troops camped at a monastery in Mayanmu Township yesterday, killing three of them and wounding four. The troops tried unsuccessfully to shot the drone. In Magwe region, a PDF drone bombed a Paius or Hiti terrorist camp at Zipaya in Mayang Township yesterday, causing about five injuries. The objective in attacking Paius or Hiti camps is to keep them on the defensive and limit their terror assaults on villages. Junta police have been shooting random people off their motorcycle in Magwe town. Today they shot two youths who worked as waiters in a tea shop owned by the father-in-law of the police station chief. Yesterday they shot two women, one may have died. In Yenanchok Township of Magwe region today anonymous protesters hung a banner with a revolutionary message. When Junta police went to remove it, they were injured by an explosion. In Mandalay region, a PDF drone bombed a Junta camp on the grounds of a high school yesterday in Ingazoon Township. The PDF says five troops were killed and 12 wounded. Urban warfare. In Mandalay, a tip-off from a Dalan led to a Junta raid on an urban PDF hideout last night. Three members were abducted, to be tortured for information and contacts and then killed. The PDF, Anonymous Force Mandalay, is advising anyone in contact with those individuals to flee to safety immediately. Don't forget subscribe, like, share.